Let's see this practice problem based on traditional probability. It says mother, father and daughter line up at a random in a queue. So there are three persons, mother, father and daughter involved in this question and they line up in a queue probably for a family picture, we don't know that. Find P of A upon B for A is equal to daughter on one end, B is equal to father in the middle. So there are two events A and B involved. You have been given the definition of A also and definition of B also. You have to find P of A upon B. Now what is P of A upon B? Probability of A given that B has already occurred. So let me write solution and let's go step by step. See if three people are there, what could be the possible number of arrangements? They could be three factorial. People, uh, if there are three, could be arranged in three factorial ways. This we know from permutations and three factorial is six. If we want to check it, so if a sample space is there, so there can be different events in that sample space. See, three people are there. Let mother be denoted by M, father by F and daughter by D. So either they could be MFD or FMD or MDF or DMF. See what I am doing is I am just creating different possible arrangements. This could be possible that mother and daughter could be on one end, father could be in the middle or daughter and father could be on one end, mother could be in the middle and so on. So two cases would be when D would be at one right end, then two cases would be then F would be at right end and the remaining two cases when M is at right end. So it is the two cases. Now it can be D and F and it can be F and D. So this is the case number uh, totaling 6. These cannot be more than this because 3 people are there and they can be arranged in 3 factorial which is 6 ways. Now P of A upon B we want to compute. So the total number is 6 and the probability of A upon B is actually given by this formula. This you already know. So we are going to see for the intersection in the numerator and for B event in the denominator. Now B event is what? Let's sort out the denominator first. N of B means the number of cases in which the father is in the middle. That is N of B. So father is in the middle in the first case here and this case. No other case is the father in the middle. So two cases. Clear? Now next, n of a intersection b means both the things, both a and b should occur simultaneously means the daughter should be on one end and the father should also be in the middle. So those uh, events in which the daughter is in on one end, here the daughter is in on one end and the father is in middle, this is the first case. Here daughter is in on the one end but father is not in the middle, don't take this. Then this is a case where this is the case where daughter is again on one end and father is in the middle because one end does not specifically mean whether right or left so we can take both so again two cases are there so the intersection is also resulting in two so two ones are is two so result is one so this means this is a sure event or a definite event now always you will not get the answer as one or zero this can be anything between zero and one or even zero or one also depending upon the question so this is how you do this type of a question.